We had the opportunity earlier today to go to the Urban Redevelopment Authority. It's very interesting to see how they have actually planned over the last five decades the redevelopment of Singapore and have kept spaces as green areas, have also been able to maintain heritage buildings, but at the same time have given the opportunity for the city to constantly be developing new areas and bringing new dynamism, new architecture, new iconic buildings onto their cityscape that no doubt have helped to contribute to the productivity and growth of Singapore. As foreign ministers, I think we must also create opportunities for officials to meet regularly and exchange ideas and viewpoints. Many years ago, the Singapore Cooperation Program was launched whereby officials from all over the world come to Singapore to enhance our knowledge sharing. To date, nearly 100,000 have come to Singapore. We're very impressed with the Institute of Technical Education. Instead of seeking white collar jobs, they're encouraged to be the best they can be in the area of technical education and using their hands. Hands on, hats on, and minds on. And we saw the passion in these young children who are there to learn something positive with their hands, with their minds, and with their hearts. This morning, we had a visit at the High Flux. I've been very impressed, first of all, because of the investment that goes into research and development. This project was initiated by a lady well-versed in chemistry, who is a well-known chemist, and who has given thought to her idea, which had been matured for research and development. And today, it has become a flagship, this company of Singapore. This is a technology which is worthwhile and there is a lot of investment that can be made on the African continent. I have been here before. What is amazing is that we have the sense that you have done everything in Singapore. But each time I came back, I find something new. So which explains the dynamics of the development in Singapore. The technologies that Singapore is holding now, we think that we can foster our own development. I think between Singapore and the African continent, I see renewed, energized and expanded cooperation in the sectors of education and the economics. Now with the development which Singapore has built, and now with the unlocking of the African potential, it's a continent which is seen to be on the move. I think the two parts have got every reason to cooperate. On behalf of my colleagues and the Prime Minister, we're very glad that you're here and we'd like to see how we can take forward this relationship with you individually and certainly between Sub-Saharan Africa and Singapore. We think that in a small way, we can play a useful role for you and at the same time I'm sure we learn something from you.